Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LEW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 91. In this video tutorial, I am going to talk about how to add or drop containers from SMS temporary table spaces without doing a redirected restore operation. This slide talks about the problem scenario and solution. The problem scenario is we want to show you how to add or drop containers from SMS temporary table spaces without doing redirected restore. Uh, the discussion, whatever in this tutorial we are, I am discussing is uh, only applies to system or user temporary SMS table spaces and it does not apply to data SMS table spaces like SMS table spaces which store user table data like that. Now what is the solution for this? The solution is to create the system or user temporary table space as automatic storage type okay so uh, once you do that so we can add or drop the storage paths in the corresponding storage group and deactivate and activate the database and you should be able to see the modified number of containers for that particular sms table space so the key learning that um, uh, i am passing on with this tutorial is the sms temporary table space can be of automatic storage type as well it's not like automatic storage means only for dms uh, table spaces alone the underlying table space will be uh, dms or it can be sms temporary table space so that is what the key learning here uh, as usual let us get into some uh, examples so i'll uh, show some example so here i have created the database and i have already okay let me activate the database okay and let's see whether the database is active db2 list active databases no okay so let's activate the database okay activation is complete and uh, let me connect to the database and let us look at the uh, file path so i am just creating um, four directories here so stt1 stt2 utt1 and utt2 okay so I, I'll show you. So now what I'm doing is creating store group STT. So STT is system temporary table space. Uh, for that I'm creating a storage group. And uh, the path is home DB2 INST1 STT1. So similarly I'm creating UTT storage group with two paths. So the STT storage path is having a single path. Storage group is having a single path. The UTT storage group is having two paths. So that, that is what is uh, I am doing here okay okay done then I am creating a system temporary table space using the STT storage group and I'm user uh, user temporary table space uh, using the storage group UTT so that also I am doing okay so let me just run that okay now everything got ran successfully now let's look at the details from the catalog view so you can see that here easily uh, the storage paths that we have created so the IBM store group is the default one so STT is a storage group with a single path UTT is a storage group with two paths so which means that the corresponding table spaces right see here the STTS table space is having a single container the path is STT1 so similarly UTTS is a user temporary table space the path is UTT1 UTT2 so two containers are there so for the STTS table space single container, UTTS table space two containers, both are SMS. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll alter the storage uh, group. Okay, so here I'm doing two kinds of alteration. So one I'm uh, adding a path in the STT storage group, which means I should see STTS getting increased to two containers, and UTTS I am uh, removing a path so it should become one container so STTS should become two table space should be should have two containers and UTTS should have single container that is what the modifications I have done but it won't reflect immediately okay so I will show you that so I will run the query and I will show you that so you can see that see still STTS is one and UTTS is two containers only it will be like that only okay so let's do a connect reset deactivate and activate again again do the same thing okay so that time you will easily able to see the difference so deactivating it activating it so you will see that now STTS there are uh, two containers and UTTS becomes a single container as per the storage group uh, association right so because we have modified the storage path that way okay 
so that is the learning here so for sms temporary table spaces either system uh, system or user uh, temporary table space still it can be of automatic storage type and you can modify that particular storage group paths and you should be able to deactivate and activate the database to reflect the change in number of containers you need not drop and recreate the table spaces or you need not do a redirect restore operation it can be done by this method also which is the objective of this tutorial hope this information was useful to you please subscribe to my channel youtube.com slash db2luw academy see you in the next video tutorial until then bye bye